switched over to Drake and went on a run, ended up winning the belt. Well, here's the kickoff. Step out of bounds at the 27. Of course, Usafa on the other side rocking that Gucci Mane. Yeah. Got to make sure you say it right. Say it again. Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane. So first and 10 at the 27. Pretty big age difference here, too. You got Safa Jones, Jamal Daniels from Atlanta, Georgia, 22 years old, and Dubby Chris McFarland from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 30 years old. So an eight year age difference between these two players. When I lived in Atlanta as a youngster, I was rocking that outcast. Southern playlist of Cadillac music for your trunk. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh. So 459. Just a second ticked off here. It takes a little time to set these audibles. Do you got these playbooks? Sure do. <laughs> in, your, in your pile of paperwork. Well, it, I'll make it easy for you. Both of these guys running the same <laughs> exact playbooks. West Coast. West Coast offense. And the defense goal train. KC. Boom. Got him. The See, Kale 30 train. years old. It's the 22-year-old Mustafa Jones. Big game. It's all about seeding in the playoffs. Vic drops back and throws it deep behind the defense. And Ted Ken pulls it in at the 15. Right, what we were talking about when you looked at the top three players, we said only an ultimate team. You see Ted Ginn against Lott and Larry Wilson. And right there, Ginn burns the legends for a big game. Threw for 134 yards last time these guys met up. That was a bomb right there. Wilson got to get his speed up. He wants to deal with that playoff 94 overall. Ted Ginn. Big play for W. NFL playoff version. Let's go. Ted Ginn Jr. after the big catch. Low throw. There's Teddy Ginn again. Page on the tweezers play for that one. So first and goal at the two. How, how, how big do you think the low throw? You talk about weekend league and stuff. After people watch this Ultimate League, get ready to deal with that low throw. <laughs> all over the place because these guys are sure and show you how effective it can be. Again's been a bit of a journeyman as Henry tries to break the plane. Played for the 49ers, Cardinals, Panthers. He was drafted ninth overall by the Dolphins way back a decade ago. So good when he was at Ohio State. Still has the speed. Of course, he's rocking with the New Orleans Saints. Always been a big return specialist. Deep ball threat, but Henry powers it in. And it's gonna be a touchdown for Dubby on his opening drive. Yeah, he's opening drive for Dubby. You heard him every game's big. He feels he'll make the playoffs, but you never know. You gotta keep that point dip in check. We're getting to the end of the season here, and you know, Donnie's in the back running those standings. Constantly, all the different scenarios. You got Tweez on the other side over there playing Drini, and he's pretty much in a do or die situation over there. Let's get a game update. Well, speaking of that game, RG, Drini getting off to a fast start, nice stick work all the way to the crib, up 7 0, just about three and a half minutes left in the first quarter, fighting for that playoff spot. Boy, Drini, when he gets in the open field, he might be the best in the Ultimate League. Yeah, his run game is bananas. And, you know, there's a lot of players with similar game plans like that. Him, true boy problem. These guys just like to run the ball very effectively, play hard-nosed defense, and they'll air it out when they have to. But. And a lot of, well, let's be honest, let's, let's go back a little bit this year in Madden when the spin moves and the jukes might have been a little out of control. And, and some people that had that game plan fell off. For Drini, it's always been sort of straightforward running with him making cuts 
with the, with the, with on the sticks. Yeah, yeah, he just has good stick work. And you know, not saying that not using the trucks, the jukes, and the spins is good stick work, but if you can just effectively follow your blocks, make the most out of the holes that are given to you, usually a remedy for success. And, you know, not turn the ball over. And Pedrini, too, it's really that solid defense that he plays over there, especially at 18 years old, so, so young, but able to play defense at such a high level. Safa completes it on third down to Jackson. Comes wide open across the middle, finding the tender spaces. Big shout out to Gibbs and Farrells. Right out there at the 47. Mm -hmm. Those guys are a couple, tender. couple of legends right there. That's Gibbs and Z Falls started that this week in Madden Twitch show a long time ago. And they started that show. It was a, a weekly show on Twitch that kind of brought people into the world of competitive Madden. And they did that during a time when, you know, Twitch wasn't a huge thing. And guys like me and, you know, problem in the rest of a lot of the top players, we weren't out there trying to show our stuff. Everyone was kind of tight knit. It wasn't easy to interact with us. And Gibbs and Frost kind of took you by the hand and said, oh, no, nah, coming through our world. It's, it's not that bad. So, some real pioneers, those two. Mariota shakes a tackle. Oh, got, gotta be got careful. Bad. Bro, you got pads on. You got pads on. Look at Dubby showing some emotion up there. He really wants to fumble right here. Mariota just taking all kinds of hits. Got to be careful if you're soft. You got to protect the quarterback. Got to have some movement here. That's going to make it first and 10 after Dubby jumped. We saw a ton of offsides in the club championship. Toned down here a bit in the Ultimate League. They, all these players know it's really tough to pull a fast one on you. Just about every one of these guys gets up and fake hikes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're looking to catch you on that aggressive pass rush. And when the competition's this stiff, you're really not trying to give up a free five yards every now and then. I mean, for me, I go to aggressive pass rush when I got you in that third and fourth and long situation where I know even if you, you get me to jump off sides, you know, you still got a long ways to go. Let's get a game update. Well, Drini continuing to pour it on here, Rico. Looking good, going deep. He can do it by land, he can do it by air. <laughs> Options over here, 14 nothing, Drini. Two minutes left in the first. Boy, Drini, it was rough. Rough start to the season. We wondered at the belt winner. You know, maybe had lost some touch. Maybe the the changes to the game, the tuning, had left him behind. Well, he answered those questions real quick. And now, so I'm thinking, the poor, poor Tweez over there. I mean, he's just such a good, humble young man. You talk, he's one of my favorite players to interact with. He's just such a good guy, but you can tell his confidence right now, deep in this season, is just not where it needs to be. There's a turnover on downs as Dubby. Darts in with your grill peppers. Tweez's confidence isn't where it needs to be. This man right here, Dub Dot Dubby, really started to gain the confidence he needs to make a serious run here in the ultimate league. And remember, Dubby's a streaky type player. He, he, he's the type of guy you don't want to let him catch fire. 15 seconds left in the quarter, moves it down to the 27 yard line, and that'll be the final play of the quarter because I've seen Dubby play about a thousand times. So let's fly on over, why not? Into the quarter there between Dubby and Musafa. We have the technology, so why don't we use it? Drini and Tweez. It's 14 nothing. Tweez with the rock. He's trying to keep his season alive here. Give himself some playoff hope and he's driving on Trini. If he could get himself a touchdown and play some defense right back in the ball game. And a touchdown here is big for Tweed. He needs it. Henry goes ahead and picks up the first down, trying to make it a one possession game here early in the first half. Ball at the 24 now. Up center. 
Even that tight double, Scott. It's a new formation we haven't seen from him much, and that's a crispy one. Down to the one-yard line is Ted Ginn Jr. And I like it from the young Grizzly. Everyone's been all over a strong close in the single back spread. Goes to some tight doubles, gives him a new look. And Tweez is fighting. Watson, they run, come in, he throws it. And responded to young Tweez, Trey Horn, New Orleans, Louisiana. Trini, a.k.a. Danielson. And it's up and it is good. 70 yard drive on seven plays to make it a one possession game here at the end of the first quarter between Drini and Tweez. 14 to seven between these two youngsters and Dubby, the veteran of the group with a seven nothing lead over Musafa Jones. Let's jump in with Dubby and Musafa Jones here at the start of the second quarter. Dubby with a seven-point lead over that man right there, Safa. Like you said, Dubby's camera awareness is <laughs> it's got to be at least 90-plus. He always knows where the camera crew's at. First and 10 from the 27. Skibbo's got to have a better camera awareness. He always knows where it is somehow. I think it's close. We need, Don, we need Donnie to go. Go, through, to the, the go through the archives. Let us know how, <laughs> how many poses. We need the stats on, on the camera poses between W and Skim. Let's go. Second and 12 at the 29. Michael Vick. And he's sandwiched. Sack right. him up at the 36. One thing we can agree on, though, is those are two of the most entertaining players we at least have. I mean, you got Dubby's. He'll get animated, he'll give you those shots at the camera. Gets amped and then skim, you know, not only will he give you the shots at the camera, he'll return a kick and then start yelling at the caster desk at us, telling us <laughs> how he called this shot from up there at the stage. You gotta love that stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Third and 18. Henry, oh my, have you met Night Train Lane? I thought he was just content there with Running the ball, not turning it over, and taking his three to make his two possessions. Perfect. Perfect kick. So a 10-point lead here with 4.08 to go in the half. Safa, you got to answer, my friend. Safa, he, he, he's been a, a streaky player all season long. And you see him go on a little losing streak, then you see him Rally some wins together and then find them, you know, taking some losses and been back and forth for him all season. Let's move over to Drini and Tweez. It's second and four for Drini after the score by Tweez. And Walker can't get the first down. Going to be just shy. So we had third and one from the 23. He's desperately needs to be able to make a play on defense. Earlier in the season, we were seeing him make plays at the most opportune times. Just feels like that, that, that was forever ago. <laughs> George Fant from Western Kentucky only played one year of college football. He had seven catches. Fant is in the running. <laughs> And ultimately going to be He had seven catches for 12 yards there he in college. Is. Are we going to get a fat guy touchdown maybe from Fant? I'll probably lose it if Fant scores a touchdown. Look at him go down. You, you never really see a big grizzly like that dropped in a feeble position. But. He's only got 65 catch. But he does have a little bit of speed. Of course, his blocking is pretty good as a tackle. I want to know what type of diabolical laughing was <laughs> Greeny doing when he found Fant. Decided he was going to use him as the secret weapon. Get open, Fant. Get open. You got to throw it away. 
can't be rooting. <laughs> the call in the game can't be rooting. I'm just rooting for Fant. I'm not rooting for anybody else but just that guy. Don't be. <laughs> and hope you saw. Second and goal. Goes to Walker. There's Tweez with a big stop. Third and goal. Good thing for Tweez is regardless of what happens here on this third down, he'll have a chance to put together a solid drive before the end of this first half, which will allow him to make it a one possession ball game, assuming he can get points. Assuming Drini gets some points here. Third and goal from the five. Hands it off to Walker. And Tweez does another good job. That'll force Drini to kick the field goal. Oh my goodness. I'm looking over here to my right. Dub Dog Dubby bringing an intensity we haven't seen from him in a while. I don't know what's going on in that game, but. Get late in the evening. Starting to get a little grouchy for the old man. He's animated over there. Let's head over there to the old guy. Yeah, there Quick he is. Ball. Look at it's him. Cool. Give him another shot. That's been he going needs on. One. It's been going on for the last like three minutes or so. <laughs> Fourth and eleven. Breaks out into a dance. That dance rating is low. <laughs> Way low. We got 52. The swag is high. The dance, the dance rating's low. <laughs> Big fourth down here for Safa. You gotta think W gets to stop here. He's gonna go bananas. Fourth and eleven. Quick throw and he oh, throws it. Pick. I told Whitehead, earn that 12 cap. Earn that 12 cap, kid. Earn that 12 cap. Talking about Whitehead. Only costs you 12 cap to have him on your team. And he makes a play. He's got Whitehead in that cloud flat. There's no underneath route on that side or a drag to make him bite down. It's all over that corner out. Switch over. Over here with Trini. Now back to Dub and Safa. That's too much going on right there. My head almost exploded. Almost threw up. Yeah, almost fell out close. of the chair. Camera crew's got to be careful. 2.15 to go. Had vertigo there for a moment. Had no clue where I was. I buckle in those situations. Hey, I almost had to text my wife. <laughs> yep. Ask her where am I at. Come find me. No, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Two minutes to go. It's all the way down to the 17. Look at Henry. Juking and jiving into the red zone. Looking at Henry all season long. Game after game, truck after truck. Watch tight end, watch tight end. Tight right, tight right. Derrick Henry definitely in the running for one of the most effective players we've seen in all of Ultimate League on a number of different teams. You know, right there is a great example. You stop for a no game falls forward for two yards in the first down. Yeah. And in a game of inches, when you can fall forward like that, you never know when that'll be the difference. Big hit. I look, that was Leonard Williams. Look at Safa right there. Look at his game piece. He's down 10. Things haven't been going his way. He still looks focused, still looks poised. Ready to rock. I'm telling you, I've, I've liked his attitude all season long. I can't stress it enough, Scott. Last time they hooked up earlier in the season. Wow, good throw. It's now 17 to nothing. Dubby won 30 to 13. And he's well on his way with 137 to go in the first half. Safa with no answers. Yeah, Dubby with all the momentum in this one. Here's Young Tweez in control. We got a game break coming up soon. If Young Tweez was able to put up some points on that drive before half. Look at this replay, Scott. This is just a hot one. This is a high pass. We talk a lot about the low throw. That's a high pass by Dubby. Right over Soft as user defender. And there's that dance rating you're talking about.
very, very low. 17 to nothing. Let's go, Whitehead. When you're feeling it, you're feeling it. You know? My man, Whitehead, MVP. Well, Whitehead, the dummy, he's in that left slot position. He's a silver 12 cap from the Green Bay Packers. Whitehead. Getting, oh, wow, he's 51. You're getting all of that 12 cap and more worth a, a Whitehead so far in this game if you dumped on W. So first and 10. After the completion for Safa, got to get it scored before half. Even if it's a field goal, you need some sort of momentum. Got to stop the bleeding. Oh, you're right. And, you know, any type of points brings you back in this ball game. You get a whole half of John Madden football, two possessions. It's more than manageable. But you know Easier we got things to do. It's a meeting at the quarterback. Quarterback meet tastes sweet. Come through. No dialing number needed. Everyone that was there at the conference. Third and nine. Mariota. This ain't in Oh, and he throws a pick. Uh, that's cool. I need to score. It's cool. <laughs> what the what? It looks like the knee might have barely. Wait for it. When he stopped? Oh, I, 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 I couldn't tell. Let's go. I can't defend that. It could have been a bug. I can't, I can't defend it. First and ten. Didn't see it. Throws it deep. It that was a pick six, by the way. Definitely Clearly. Could have been a pick six. And it didn't look like the knee touched the ground at all. I'll tell you what, when you get into instant replay and you start looking frame by frame <laughs> at some of that stuff, I mean, things aren't always what this what they seem until you get deep into the weeds. Trust me, I've been there. Second and ten. Hester. Works his way to the 32, 20 seconds left. At the very least, he's going to have an opportunity to go up 20 to nothing. That hurts if you're soft. We're talking about he needs to get some points before the end of the half, make it two possessions, and instead, now you find yourself trying to prevent W from scoring a touchdown and getting additional points of his own. It's a great way to lose John Madden football games. You can't have those kind of turnovers in Masafa Jones. 17 to nothing. I need to come out with that list one time. The top 10 things not to do <laughs> if you want to win John Madden football games. With the block, Pickens! All the way down to the fort. Says the time, I, time out here. He could still run one play. Look at it again. Look at Dubby. He says, it's how you use your playmaker as a blocker. It's the little things. And he sure as heck did right there. A little playmaker on the tight end and follows him, gets the extra block, and see if he can punch it in for six here. With only six seconds left. First and goal. Four yards away. Don't have much time. Don't have a bunch of time here. He missed him. Wow, mistake by Dubby. Those are points. Man, look at his, look at that, look at his posture, it says it all. At the half, 17 to seven for Drini. Dubby, at the very least, should have been 20 to nothing and had A as open as you'll see him right before the half. So here after the half, yeah, what can you say? Here's a scenario for him. If he gets a win here against Safa, he will clinch a playoff berth in the Ultimate League. And for Musafa Jones, down 17, he'll clinch if he gets a playoff, you know, playoff, uh, he'll clinch a playoff berth here with a win, but he's very much down here, 17 to nothing. On the other side, Drini and Tweez. For Drini, he's got a 10-point lead over Tweez. 
as we're about to start the third quarter, and he'll also get a playoff berth with a win. Or, no. I mean, come on. <laughs> they set you up for that Come on, come on. They set you up on, on, you up on the back. What, what, are the, what are the graphics guys trying to do to me here? <laughs> Obviously. Well, we hope they don't tie. <laughs> <sighs> trying to hit you with a move, Coltrane. All right, Drini and Tweez here to start the third quarter. 17-7. Drini with the lead. And here we go. Drini will kick it away to Tweez. Got to get some points on this drive. And he'll start the ball at the 27-yard line. Please. Throws it with the Watson, finds Bo Jackson, spins to the inside, and pushes his way to the 40. He's thrown two picks in this one. That's really the difference in the first half. Yeah, I'm telling you, Tweez just hasn't been playing with a ton of confidence. He needs to get something going and get himself some momentum. And really. Turn the slump that he's in around. We know he's a top player. He came in as a huge underdog, had some big wins earlier in the season. That's a place he's taking some tough losses towards the end of the season here. But Tweez is only at three and five right now. Third and nine. Watson. Oh! Throws a pick to Drini. Renfro right there to snag it. Works his way up the sideline to the 38. Big play right there for Young Drini. You saw the graphic. To clinch a playoff berth with a win. The youngest belt winner of all time. Comes up big on defense and look at Tweez. He knows that was a terrible throw and Drini makes him pay for it. So first and 10, Drini will Stretch it out to Herschel Walker, and there's there's not much there for Walker. He's got 11 carries for 102 yards. 10-point lead for Drini. After the turnover. Looks, finds Deshaun Jackson. And Jackson will work it to the 27. Seven of eight now for Mariota for 101 yards. And Drini looking tough. That's what you want to see if you're Drini. We know he can play defense. We know he can run the ball. But if he can start clicking in that passing game, that's going to be trouble for the rest of the competitors in this ultimate league. I got to find George Fant on Twitter. <laughs> that's, that's my new guy. Next time we're at, up at the Seahawks. Gotta, you know, I, I, I got Russell Wilson's number. I got Dougie Baldwin's number. I'll be like, hey, uh, I don't want to talk to you guys, but if you can hook, <laughs> hook me up with a George Fant jersey. I mean, I think you got to put Drini. And there goes Walker. Over. Touchdown, Drini. Yeah, we gotta get Dreamy. <laughs> we gotta get Dreamy that fan jersey. <laughs> that would be awesome. Young Dreamy, he's just a, such a good, good kid. And he's as humble as they come, as talented as it gets. And he puts that bandana on, he has superpowers on the Madden sticks. Just a real high level talent you have there. Rico was. Begging him to take the bandana off. Make this a game. Not having it. No, 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 I feel him. I mean, you, with a W, you saw the graphic. You clinch a playoff berth. And Tweez, you can, you can tell his morale is just not there right now. The young Grizzly's been going through it. Remember, though, he only clinches the berth if he loses. <laughs> oh, they were setting you up. <laughs> keeping you on your toes over there. Let's get a game update. 
Well, speaking of playoff first, Dubby knows one's on the line here, Enrico. He is showing up on defense, forces the fumble, and then a little disrespect. Drop down and get your eagle on. <laughs> he takes us all the way back to the house. He actually hurtled into the end zone. He is up 24-0, three minutes left in the third. 24-7 well, over here. Appreciate that, guys. Two minutes to go in the third. Tweez, got to get something going here. You had a bad feeling, though. The problem routed Tweez earlier in the season that you knew Drini was going to pretty much have the same game plan. Yeah, for those that don't know, it's, it's because Problem and Drini, they're a part of the same camp that, that taught Matt and crew that they practice a lot, they share a lot of strategy, and not anybody gets to, you know, just laugh with the greatest Madden player of all time, but young Drini, someone problems taken under his wing, and they say, you know, I think they play each other more, th more than anybody. So that's a good observation, Scott, that you best believe Drini and Problem had a, a good talk about the game plan. Playmakers, but good coverage. And that's the thing about that man-to-man -man defense. The playmaker is not as effective because you can't get into those tender spaces. Let's go! There's a big sack. Make it a third and nine for Tweez now. I just got some information for us here, Cole. Um, Tweez's playoff scenario. Tweez loses this game. It's not looking good for him right now, though. 24 to 7 as he throws it away on third and nine. In order to make the playoffs, he would need a win in his next game against Chaos. And he would also need True Boy to lose his next two games of the Ultimate League. So what you're saying is Tweez is in a hurt. Tweez is hurting. I mean, to be have, to need help, and that help be True Boy lose. Oh, boy. True Boy lose two games? I mean, it's not likely so. Young Grizzly season is kind of unraveling right here. I mean, he's down. He's not out yet, but it's not looking good. And not to defend him, but this isn't his game mode. But I, maybe this will grab his attention as he throws a bomb, Drini. Hello, wounds. Here's some salt. <laughs> good one. The floodgates are open. And, and like you said, this isn't Tweets' game mode. He, more of a regs, normal play now, head-to-head -head type player. And I think Rico said it best. If, if the Monstars came down to earth right now, and they said, pick your, what are your best regs player to save the planet Earth. Now we're picking Tweez. Tweez would be up in the runnings. But unfortunately for Tweez. Well, let me ask you this. What salary cap? But you picking in salary cap mode. <laughs> if the Monstars come down. Honestly? That's tough between problem and skimbo. Yeah. They got the experience. They can handle the pressure of world domination. <laughs> world domination. <laughs> Let's slip back to Dubby and Safa. 75 seconds left in the quarter. Second and nine for the dubstep. Move for J2. J2. We got three. We got three, fellas. We got three. J2. Up on her center. Joining a 24 to 3 lead. Jim, 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 Jim. Zop is still in a decent spot, even when it looks like he's going to drop this game. But the pressure starts to mount with just a few games left in the season. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, Chaos did a lot of these guys a favor because he didn't have a great season. So him already being out of the running, even for guys like Zappa, even a loss like this, the, the fact that your playoff life is still very much alive, that's got to be a big deal for you. you to go back to the drawing board and regroup. And it's funny because, talk about, you know, we had to pick one salary cap player to, to you know, represent the planet. Talk about problem in Skimbo, but then you, you look at Skimbo in that elite conference, and I'm not even sure if he's going to be able to get be on top of that division. To win the it's division. so stacked. Yeah. It's Skimbo, Young Kiv, Noble Stevie J, 
and spot me, please. I mean, you got two belt winners in that division. Here at the end of the third, 31 to seven and 24 to three, the route is on for both Drini and Dubby. Start of the fourth quarter, Dubby with a big lead, up by 21 over Musafa Jones. It's just not been Musafa's game, and Dubby has done it on defense, big plays, and right now he's just eating that clock. It's fourth and one on the 49. Those were the first down. That means he's just going to be able to keep milking that clock away and lead to the dub. Yeah. Interesting to see what he goes to here on this fourth and one. Probably going to pass the ball. Look for that deep post over the middle on this big halfback. I'll put this dig halfback out play. Scramble with Vic. A lot of audibles, got to snap it. Got to throw it, he will. Anderson grabs it, possession catch to the 46. You know, props to Dubby for getting his offense on track. We saw him week one of this season. He was in that gun offset tight formation. Problem just pretty much locked that up completely. And Dubby's smart enough to go back to the drawing board, switch his playbook. He looks a lot better on offense since he pulled out that West Coast playbook and the, the scum bunch, I like to call it. Yeah, rocking that Green Bay playbook in the... Only problem with that is the problem was very familiar with Green Bay as he's used it here late in the season. I don't know if there's a play with that problem. Run heavy? Yeah, run and shoot. Hey, stuff. we saw Joel use the run and shoot. Let's go. I like Joel's offense, too. In that. Boy, did he give it to Goes. A gun spread. Up in Minnesota. Week one. Joel's, and he's going to be excited to watch all throughout Ultimate League. Very, very entertaining. A lot of personality. And probably one of the best trash talkers we have in, in the entire league. It's got to be the best trash talker we have in the entire league. I don't think it's close. Second and 11. And it's funny, you, you, you got Joel as the, one of the best trash talkers, the best trash talker. And he's in the same division with guys like Blocky and Noble Prodigy, who, good luck getting anything out of them trash talk-wise. <laughs> Two of the quietest, humblest young players that you'll meet. And that will spin down first oh, yeah. and 10 at the 15. And more time to come off this clock. Kill the clock. Get out of here with the George W. Let's go. You know, we did some polling before the start of the season. And the Legend Division B favorite, 73% thought problem would win the division. Second was W at 16%. So a lot of people were on problem. Let's get a quick game update. Well, Tweez is not going to win this ball game, but he is not going down fighting, getting himself into the end zone. Went for two on this play, Rico. Did not get it 31-13. Still has a lot of uphill to go. So 24-3 over here. Vic gets loose once again. And he'll take it all the way down to the one. Now in the Legend Division A favorite, 41% thought Joke would take it, and Drini was at 38%. So that was a lot closer in the public's eye. First and goal now. That'll take it to the two minute warning, second and goal. One thing I am interested I love to see because, you know, even though 
Dubby's clinching a playoff berth and problems clinching a playoff berth. You know, every, they talk about they're very passionate about that bye. You got to remember, you still got a Dubby versus problem game left on that schedule. That's going to be a fun one to watch. You, you saw a problem handle Dubby in week one of the season, but this is a brand new dub dot Dubby we're seeing here late in the season. That's going to be an exciting matchup. It might come down. I don't know the scenarios. I know they're in the nerd cave working away. But that can depend on who is the number one seed in the Legend Conference. You were Revenge of the Nerds guy. You remember that movie? <laughs> Absolutely. It's a good movie. <laughs> one, one, another obscure reference that 80% of the audience has no idea about. Now, how many of the, like, so we were talking about Drini earlier, and we said he reminded us of the Karate Kid. What are the chances that Drini, at 18 years old, has even seen the original Karate Kid? Not, well, that that, Will, that's not the one that's with the Will Smith stuff. Well, yeah, he's, that's what he's going to say is, I don't look anything Come like Hillary Swank. G. They got no idea. I, 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 I'm going to ask Drini after, after that if he's seen the Karate Kid. Well, if, if he talks to Adrian Lawrence, maybe we can... Get her to investigate. Well, that could get awkward. He, 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 he might be clueless, you know? He, <laughs> be careful, Adrian. Want I, I, I want to throw that one right, out we'll there. We, we could do that off camera. 31 to 3. It's and then if he has seen anything. Karate Kid, I wonder if he's willing to concede that problem's Miyagi. Well, there's no question. And this is the type of stuff we talk about when we got a 31 to 3 ball game. If only a minute and 17 left. Well, I mean, three, three, three. we're doing wings tonight, right? I am absolutely doing wings. All right. Sweet Thai chili wings, extra crispy at my hotel. I'm going to go in on that. I've been I'm saying they're top I need eight. some ranch dressing, though. My own. Yeah, you. you I, I'm Honestly, they got their ranch in, is very suspect on this order. It's an okay. avocado type ranch. Well, you lost me. It, um, but the wings were fuego. They got that crunch. They're not frozen. It's good chicken. The sauce was hitting. So I got to bring my own ranch. I'm a blue cheese guy. I know there's something off about you. That's the way you're meant to eat wings. It's, in Buffalo, they started eating the wings with blue cheese. Not ranch came way later. You're gonna be a, an original G when it comes to the wings. You go blue cheese. I hey, mean, I'll I, eat I have too. been to Hidden Valley, not too far from Santa Barbara. You go in on some real ranch. Blue cheese is trash. If you're watching this, you can tweet at me. Is it blue cheese or is it ranch? Straight you know. trash. Second and eight. The key, we can be clear, if the key though is that the wings are crispy. Yes, they got to be crispy. You have one of the main pet peeves. Oh. Oh. You ever had twice baked wings? To go in twice, get extra crispy? I uh, want a twice baked potato though. But sure. Now you're talking my language, twice baked wings. But twice baked Korean chicken wings? we got to get this food podcast together because we're absolutely wasting people's time. 31 to 3. We'll back it up to the 6. I don't think he wants to give up this touchdown. Well, we're going to go play some basketball on Sunday, too. Yeah, we're it's not that. all eating. We, we, no. no we, get out on we the got court. some things to do. We've got to see this 43-point this game oh, jump you're, you're shot. Get, about. You're going to get it. I'm going to let the people know, too. They call me Campbell Soup. Mm -mm, good. I'm going to let them know uh, how the jump is looking. So. I'm AT&T, all this and that. Oh, goodness. Hey, step up. You want to wrap this game up? <laughs> oh, oh, you want, oh, 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 what's your game going on here? Dubby, the big win over Safa. Wow. So it's a final. Getting closer and closer to the playoffs. 31 to 13, Drini over Tweez. And Dubby once again gets a big win over Musafa Jones, 31 to 13.
Adrian Lawrence is standing by with the winners. Thanks, Scott. Yep, I am here with two mad men who have clinched for the playoffs, and I know they're super pumped about this. So let me go ahead and ask you, Drini, that was an incredible performance, so dominant. What made you so dominant? Well, I saw, you know, what Twee struggled with with the past opponents, so I try to imitate what they were doing, So, and, and it works. And as you can see, I blew them out. And, yeah, that's it. All right. And, Debbie, you. Well, the biggest game that I watched so far today was Joke versus um, Musafa because they play all the time. You know, they're good friends. They're lab partners. So when you see them both play, you have to take note of what they're doing to each other because then you realize what each other don't like. And they were running a little one four six flip. So, you know, I'm going to say I'm going to go ahead and run it, and it, it worked really well for him. You know, it really got me a blowout. And, it, you know, you got to pay attention to every game. You got to see what people like and what they don't like. You know, some people really don't like things. Like Tweez, Journey said, Tweez saw Cover 3 Cloud since week two, and literally I've never ran Cover 3 Cloud in my life. But, shoot, if Tweez struggled with it, I, I pulled out Cover 3 Cloud. The same thing with 146, man. I saw Chaos struggle with it. I started running it. And then I saw uh, Safa and Joke struggle with it. So, shoot, I'm 146. You know, you got to be able to adapt on the fly. Sort of like the NFL, man. If you got something working – you got to stick with it. And if another team doesn't like something, you got to add it to your arsenal. I've added a lot of things in, in these weeks that we played, and I'm glad to be going to the playoffs. Wow. So word of warning for the other players out there that you both are watching. And I do have a question for you in terms of watching and things you might have watched. Have you ever watched The Karate Kid? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go. I guess people compare me with him, but, you know, it's whatever. I think RG might have wondered if you had ever seen it before. And I'm guessing you're old enough. You know what the Karate Kid is? Yeah, I'm, yeah I've seen both versions, actually. I mean, these kids nowadays just see the Jackie Chan and the Jaden Smith version. But, you know, I'm 30 years old. We grew up on the other, the Ralph Macchiato. I don't know how to say his name. But, yeah, Journey, that's Journey, man, the Karate Kid. You know, he was probably, you know, negative 10 years old when that came out, you know. So, you know, us old people, we really uh, like movies like that and remember them. Oh, wonderful. Well, I'm not going to ask either of you about The Lion King, but I'm sure you're well-versed. Back to you guys.